Hey guys, Tim here from TimCryptotutorials.com, and today we're going to be starting an Android development series. And so in our first lesson, we're going to be installing Android Studio onto a Windows 7 operating system. The first thing you want to do is open up your favorite browser. I'm using Google Chrome, and you're going to go to developer.android.com slash sdk slash installing slash studio.html hashtag updating. And you'll see that there's an early access preview here. So if you just want to go ahead and hit the download Android Studio um, for Windows button. Right now the version is 0.2.x, and so we're going to go ahead and download. You want to accept their terms and conditions. Hit download again, and you'll see it's starting to download. While that's downloading, we're going to need to go over here. And if you've never downloaded the Java Development Kit, we're going to need to do that as well. So go to oracle.com slash technetwork slash java slash java se slash downloads slash index.html. Both of these links will be in the comment section below. And you're going to want to go ahead and click download Java platform JDK. At the um, time of this recording, the version is 7U40. So go ahead and hit download. And you're going to go down here. You're going to hit accept license agreement and then you have a whole list of operating systems that you want to choose from. Now currently I'm running a 64-bit operating system but in order to get Android Studio to recognize it properly you're going to need to download the 32-bit which is the Windows x86 so I'm going to go ahead and download that. Let's click a link you'll see it starts downloading there and we're going to let both of those finish and I'll be right back. And as you see both of our files have completed download and we're going to go ahead and install the Java um, development kit first. So we're going to go ahead and launch that. And it's going to bring up a dialog, just like any other installation file. Hit next. You can hit next again. And now it's going to go start its installation progress. OK, now it asks us where we want to install. And we're just going to hit next. We'll take note of our path. Hit next. And now it's going to complete the installation progress. Okay, now that we have successfully installed the development kit, we can go ahead and hit close. And now we will launch the Android Studio installation. Okay, we're just going to hit next. And it sees that Java or the Android Studio has detected your JDK which you just installed. Go ahead and hit next again. Hit next. And you can go ahead and hit next. And install. And we'll just let that finish installing. Okay, the installation is complete. Go ahead and hit next. And we're going to uncheck Start Android Studio because there's one more step we need to take. In order for Android Studio to successfully start, we need to add a Java home environment variable to our system. So what that means is we're going to need to locate our Java JDK environment or development kit that we just installed, which mine was in C, Program Files 86, Java and JRE7. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to copy that address, hit control C or right click and say copy, and then we're going to click on the start menu, right click on computer, go to properties, go to advanced system settings, go down here and click environment variables, and then on the bottom under system variables we're going to hit new. And for the variable name, we're going to type in all caps. We're going to say Java underscore home. And then for the value of the variable, we're just going to paste in our path that we just copied. Hit OK. Hit OK again. Hit OK. We can close out all of our windows here. And now we can go start Android Studio. All programs, Android Studio, Android Studio. And so apparently it came up with the error says no JVM installation found. 
please install a 64-bit JDK. Okay, so since I do have a 64-bit computer, I also need to download the 64-bit Java development kit as well. So you need to download the, both the 32 for the installer to recognize it and the 64-bit for the computer. It's a little confusing, but it's the only way I figured out how to get it to work. So I'm going to go back to the Oracle website, back to the downloads page, hit download again, accept license agreement one more time, and this time I'm going to click on the 64-bit version. And we're going to let that download. Now that our download is complete, we're going to go ahead and install the 64-bit JDK. Hit next, next again, same process as before. Once again, we're at the spot where we pick our installation file. So just hit next and we'll finish the process. Okay, and now that our installation is successful, go ahead and hit close. Now remember, we need to add that path that we just installed to our Java home environment variable. So this time we're gonna right click on computer again, go to properties. Or I'm sorry, I forgot to get the path first. So go to where your Java development kit was just installed. Mine's under C, program files. Java, JDK. So then we're going to go ahead and copy that path. Control C or right click and copy. Now we're going to go back to our system, advanced system properties. Hit environment variables. And we're going to change our Java home. We're going to hit edit. And we're going to paste in our new path there. Hit OK. Hit OK again. OK. Close out all of our windows. And now we're going to try and start Android Studio again. OK, so it appears that we've had another system error. And since I'm installing Android Studio on a fresh install of um, Windows 7, I have not updated all of my Microsoft runtime applications yet. And so it cannot find this msvcr100.dll file. In order to fix this problem, you can go to microsoft.com slash ed dash us slash download slash details dot aspx question mark id equals 14632 and I'm downloading for the 64 bit and I'm just going to go ahead and hit download and as that completes I'm going to run that and accept the terms and conditions hit install okay the installation is complete hit finish close out Google Chrome here and now hopefully when we start Android Studio again we're not going to have any problems okay so we got the splash screen for Android Studio installation is complete I do not have any um, previous versions of Android Studio so I'm just going to leave the checked box as it is hit OK and now we get the initial, the initial loading splash screen for Android Studio. And as you can see, we have the Welcome to Android Studio dialog where you can create a new project, import project, or open projects, or check out from version control like Git or Subversion. And even though we had a few bumps along the way, um, I hope that some of the issues I ran into will help you out as well. All the links for this tutorial will be in the comment section below. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I hope to see you back for some upcoming Android tutorials.